Maybe you'll get it when you learn this fact. That the population of private prisons is mainly black. Peep the 13th Amendment and vibe off that. And this is how they intend to bring slavery back. Yes, Come on. And that's real. Yes, it is. When I'm saying to you that we are all culpable, in a book called As a Man Thinketh, he says we cannot be mad at the slave master without being mad at the slave. Mm. Because the slave have just as so much a choice as the slave master. You think you ain't got no choice? You said, fuck that, I ain't going to be no slave. Oh, you're going to kill me? But I'm going to have to take the consequences of my choice. But regardless, I ain't going to choose that. I won't be culpable with that. I won't allow it. So this way, next time you see some woman on stage clapping that ass, and she said, well, I had you because this is my only job opportunity. She said, hey, no, that's no excuse, sister. And this time, next time you see some rapper get on stage and violate the people and the culture, yo, oh, there's only way to regulate with Kasami. I'm sitting here right now. We having a good time right now? Really? Yeah. 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 I know that this little performance and my little yapping do not fix the problems in Baltimore. Boston, more. Boston, more. Fucked up. <laughs> I'm on some John McCain shit right now. My friends, if you want me to be the president, <laughs> robot arm motherfucker. <laughs> it do not fix the problems in Boston. I remember, I'm going to tell you a brief story and I'm one of myself because I got shit to do. <clears throat> I, I used to work for this company called uh, GTE Internet Working. That's here, and I came to Springfield for training. I remember being in the um in training, and they're listening to music, right? And they listening to the Chronic, and it's the unedited version of the Chronic. Now this is before all the discrimination laws and shit, where you can sue behind some shit like that. But your whole shit is like, yo, nigga, this, yo, if a nigga trying to fuck me, now, nigga, this, a nigga, that, yo, and that was the first time, honestly, that I heard the word nigger in a song. Like I really heard it. To then it was just like background noise, you know what I'm saying? How many people under had that like, you know, like nigga don't even really kinda of stand out to you in the song sometimes, right? It's just like kinda of just lyrics. You know what I'm saying? But that day, while I was the only like a raisin in a bowl of milk, every time I heard nigger, that shit stung and it stunk and it hurt and it embarrassed me. To the extent that I actually said, Joe, you know who pause that for a minute, y'all? I says, man, you know what? This is my favorite album right now. And right now, I hate this shit. He's like, why? I said, because, yo, all this, all that nigga talk, man, it's killing me, man. And, and you know what they said? Hey, Shopton, don't worry about it. Uh -uh. We're all niggas. <laughs> and you know what? I know what place the spirit that was coming from. They wanted me to know, you know what, fuck that. Don't worry about that. That shit don't mean nothing to us. But it did mean something to me, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody feel me on that? Yes, this is the greatest time in history, y'all. We're so fucking close. We're so fucking close to the greatest time ever. To a time where black people can start to believe that they can do anything. Where white people don't gotta keep fucking living under this bullshit ass guilt that some shit that happened years ago. You know what I mean? If we only take hold of it, let's pledge to take hold of it individually, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is NY Oil, and I approve this message. <laughs>